We've arrived on site, I'll book in and then I'll just guide you through the pitching procedure. This pitch is fairly level but as you can see it's nose down because of the weight of the axle at the back. So all we need to do is place the levelling wedges under the wheel and then back the wheel up onto it slightly. It levels the whole motorhome making it more comfortable on site. Some levelling wedges have one, two or three levels to make adjustments that much easier. So there we are, it's nice and level, it's time to move on to the next step. One of the first steps is to turn the gas on. It's in a locker outside the motorhome, you simply open the door and there's one or two cylinders in there. You just simply swivel this dial at the top of the cylinder until it's in the fully up position. If gas isn't actually feeding into the motorhome, there is a pressure, pressure release valve here, just means gas air has been trapped. So you just press that for a few seconds and then you're good to go. You can get mains power into the motorhome. Often it's usually a little hatch like this that you see on the side of the van, you just plug in. However, on this motorhome, it's a more unusual setup in the battery box. Now you've plugged the hookup cable into the motorhome and now we need to plug it into the site. Always remember to do it in that order. You need to find your hookup point. It's often got your pitch number on, it'll be on a bollard near the pitch and then you plug in. If nothing's working, what you need to do is you need to check the RCD in your motorhome and the RCD on the hookup point. So, you need to put chemical in the toilet before you use it and if you plan to use it, you need to know how to empty it. So all you do is you simply pull the release lever, it's normally at the bottom here, you pull it up and then you slide the toilet out. You slide the cassette hatch open in the unit and you pour the blue chemical in. It's roughly a cap and then a little bit of water, slide the whole unit back in and you're good to go. When packing up, it's, make, it's essential to make sure everything's secured, especially fridges. You don't want to be going around the first corner and the fridge swings open. So just make sure it's fully locked in place when you close it. So check any side windows are, are open. Just close them all and any roof lights, aerials, anything like that. All you need to do now is turn off the gas, turn off the electric, unplug the mains hookup lead, drive off the pitch slowly and remove any levelling wedges. So having done all that, we're good to go. 